Okay, so we've tested the skin in, we're happy with how the arms work, and we're happy with that system of blend shapes working below it, all seems to be working fine. So now we can start to apply the same to these antennas. We don't really want to add this um, bend control to bend the antennas up and down, because really that's what the antennas are, we already have that. So all we really want to do here is just add the sign in there. So we'll go ahead and do that quite quickly. So I'll hide the mesh, go into the front view, and I'm just going to bring up the extra to hide again to show these two curves. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate them, hit Shift P to bring them out of that group, and unlock the translates and scales and such. And just put a minus five in there and a positive five in here. Just so we can get them in the sort of area where we can see them, but I shall increase that a bit minus ten. Minus eight even. And these are gonna be hidden anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. Okay, so I'll rename these rib surface and we can get the blend shapes here and just look at the same names that we've done, so we're keeping the consistent naming convention. So rib surface, uh, left and right, arm ribbon. And I'm just going to rename this uh, sign. Or what? And this is, copy the name over, to the right. Okay, so all we need to do now is make sure we don't freeze transformations. Just go to Create Deformers, Nonlinear, and Sign. Select the other side, just hit G. And then create the blend chip. So I'm going to select the driver, select the driven, which is the ribbon. Create Deformer, Blend Shape. and we'll just double check so the outputs of this is the rib blend right arm so that's not what we're looking for make sure not to hide, so I'll just select this just so we can get the name of that blend deformer, just so we're keeping the names consistent again um, create deformer blend shape paste the name in and this is the rib blend left antenna let's copy that name we'll just hit apply and then do the same again create the my blend shape rename this the left to the right and again I'm using a blend shape because we can visually separate these, we can have them to the left and right. We could use things like wrap deformers but we'd have to have the mesh on top of each other. And also using a blend shape I prefer it because we can add more later on so if I wanted to add more deformers I could just duplicate this along, move it along, add a different deformer to it. So it just gives us the freedom to keep adding different deformations to it. So with these blend shapes I'm going to set them to 1 so they're on and we can always just leave them on because we don't really need to switch them on and off and again I'm going to right click on these inputs, all inputs and make sure the blend shape gets evaluated first do this on both sides ok so now what I'm going to do in the front view is I'm just going to rotate this sine wave slightly just so we can get it so it's, it's ends and starts in the middle of these ends of the NURBS plane and that's minus so I'm just going to copy the rotate value and then paste it on the opposite, opposite side and we'll want to get rid of the minus sign so it's essentially just mirrored that rotate to the other side we can test these out You 
can see the top and bottom of the arms moving so we want to adjust the drop off that's looking cool so I'll just undo all that just put the drop off to one do the same on the opposite side drop off to one okay so now all we need to do is select these two controls in the middle I'm going to add the attributes to it so add attribute I put sign weight that's going to be zero default of one and then the sign amplitude so sign amplitude and I've got the list back up here of the min and max values again so we want the minus five to five with default zero then for the sine wavelength so sine wavelength that was a minimum of zero point zero point one to ten and a default of one and then the sine offset which was minus 10, maximum of 10, and 0. And hit close because we've finished with that. Go back to the Windows General Editor's um, Connection Editor. We'll take the inputs, which is sign 4, and I'll reload right. And we'll just start connecting these up. So sign weight is the envelope. Amplitude to the amplitude, wavelength, wavelength, offset, offset. Test this out. Set the sine wave to one. You can see getting that working across. Do the same on the other side. Windows, general editors, connection editor. Select the name sine five. Reload right, and then connect them up. So weight goes to the envelope, amplitude, wavelength, and offset. Cool. So I'm just going to double check these. So I'll set the weight to one actually. We see these are bending in the same direction. So what can I actually do is put a rotation of 180 in this. So we're getting that amplitude, that wavelength. And amplitude mirrored over. You can see that's working. That's that's funky. <laughs> okay, cool. And put the amplitude back to zero. Okay, so we've got them in there now. Um, the extra to hide. We can copy the names from the, the last nonlinear deforms we made which was non-linear and this is the left antenna ribbon blend sign so antenna and paste the name to the other side okay so we'll add these two so I'll just collapse these groups add these to the extra to hide add these two to the blend shapes because they're now blend shapes and then we'll just hide the extra to hide so it's not visible anymore cool so we've got that also can move this out and start messing about with the sine wave so that's how once we know how it all needs to be set up we can see how quickly we can just repeat that on the antennas and we could do even more things like for this spine here we could add even more in there or we could add more later on depending on a certain animation so like if we did an animation where we needed a different deformer in here we could just reopen the rig and create another blend shape and create another deformer in there so this way we can just rack up as many deformers as we want to get maximum control without needing to create tons of different controls in here or tons of different joints